absolute uh, pleasure to be here this evening and I am the last political speaker you'll be glad to hear this evening. Um, but absolutely a, a real honour to have the chance to, to say a few words. When, when I got the invitation earlier in the year I was more than happy to take it up and actually I got to do an interview with Pink News over in London which, which was uh, first class. So thanks to Ben and to the whole team for, for the invitation to have a chance to, to say a few words this evening. A lot has been said, so what I maybe want to do is just try to set things in a wee bit of context. And I think that this week in particular, if you, when we look back 25 years ago, this week marks the anniversary of the, the, the end of the, of the criminalisation of homosexual, homosexuality in the south of Ireland. And earlier this week, the Taoiseach, the first openly he, uh, head of government actually held a reception to actually mark that end, which was something I thought was uh, hugely significant. But he also went further because he apologised. He apologised to all those people who were criminalised. And I welcome that. He was, he was supported by all of the parties in the South, including my own, and in that initiative. And that was done for a number of reasons. The first reason being to acknowledge that historic wrong and the huge injustice that was done to gay people. Secondly, he did it to recognise all of those people that have courageously campaigned down through the decades to bring that about. So well done to each and every one of them for their determination and commitment to rights for all. I'm delighted that as we have this reception this evening that today also marks an end to that here in the north. This policy in the north also comes into line with elsewhere on these islands. And men, as, as Ben, as I've said earlier, men can now seek a pardon to have their record cleared if they wish. They shouldn't have to seek the pardon, but if they wish to, they, they can. So I think that we're all obliged, political parties are obliged, to acknowledge the wrongs of the past and then prevent them from happening again in the future. When you look back to the referendum, the equal marriage referendum that was held in May three years ago in the South, it was backed by 62% of the people, a huge euphoric campaign. It was absolutely unreal. And I think that the South is a better place for it. Because that came about, the South is a better place. What was once a very conservative state is no longer a very conservative state. And I think the result of the recent repeal, the eighth campaign, is further evidence of all of that. The proven reality is that citizens must be afforded their rights, or those of us who hold political power must pay, pay the price and be held accountable. I am proud to be Vice President of Sinn Féin, who, as an all-island party, along with others, many, many others, have been in the leadership of these battles and will continue to be in the front line in the struggle for equality, for fairness and for rights. As a former health minister, I removed the ban on gay men donating blood. It was probably one of my first actions. And whilst much has been achieved in terms of LGB and T equality, we all know that much more needs to be done. And the focus is now rightly placed here in the North, and the onus is also firmly on us as political leaders to deliver the change that people rightly demand and that people rightly deserve. People here must enjoy the same rights as they do elsewhere on these islands. When Ben stepped off the plane today, he was no less married than when he got on the plane in England. So I think... Also, whilst we all have responsibilities, both governments also have responsibilities through the Good Friday Agreement. They have to ensure that there is equivalent standard of rights. Lesbian, gay, bisexual and trans transgender citizens suffer daily from discrimination, from harassment in many aspects of their daily lives. Whether that's in social, political, economic or cultural spheres, they are denied equality of rights and they are denied equality of opportunities. There is no logical no rational or humane defence for such exclusion. Turning to this assembly in the building that we, we stand in here tonight, we recognise that there is a political blockade by a minority of members which exists in this assembly. It's a barrier to true equality for our LGB and T community, but that resistance is not sustainable. It is running out of road, so we must listen. Everybody must listen. As legislators, 
we must put citizens' rights before our own personal beliefs. If we're not going to fulfil our public duty to protect everyone equally before the law, this means ending the veto in particular to marriage equality, but it also means addressing issues relating to gender recognition, adoption, transphobic and homophobic bullying, and the reporting of domestic violence, as well as employment equality. I can tell you here tonight that I want to lead Sinn Féin into a power-sharing government with all of the other parties that are represented here in this room, but only if it is a just government and one which asserts and delivers rights for all citizens. Sinn Féin will play no part in state-sponsored discrimination. There can be no second-class citizenship for anyone. I want to work with the DUP, with the SDLP, with the Alliance, with the Greens, People Before Profit and independent members of this Assembly to build, to shape and to lead a modern, progressive and inclusive society where everyone belongs and everyone enjoys fundamental rights and freedoms and no one faces discrimination. I want a society that gets on with addressing the many issues that need to be dealt with across the board so that people can have a generally better quality of life. Let's remember that we would be a much lesser place without the contributions of all, great and small, of our fellow lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender citizens in politics, in public life, in education, culture, arts, sports and much, much more. We all want to live in a society where everyone feels valued, everyone feels respected and everyone feels safe. I believe the real opportunities for change are within our grasp and no one has anything to fear from that change. So let's stand in solidarity with our LGB and T citizens, our family, our friends, our neighbours, and show them that they are respected by the state and before the law, that they have a rightful place in this society where diversity and difference can be embraced. Sinn Féin, Gwananis Carta Agus Aintas Naharan, Equality, Rights and Irish Unity.